had a low tire before we left, so we're gonna pull in here and make sure we're good. back to uh, Boonville, to Tony's lease. <clears throat> There's one stand up there where we saw some action and pretty much committed myself to hunting that one spot, just staying there. I rarely do that, but if we can make it, um, Scott and I will sit in the stand all day the next two days. and It's that time of year to get that serious about it for sure, and we've got a cold front. 54 here now, but it's supposed to get down in the 30s for a low for the next few days. Hopefully that'll happen. To be honest with you, I'm about to pee my pants. Stop to get gas and <clears throat> the clerk in the gas station asked me what the symbol was for on the truck and I told him we had a TV show called The Hunt Company and uh, he said, so is it like you guys, um, this guy's taking a picture of us back here, he said, so um, is it like about you guys teaching other people how to hunt people? <laughs> I said, no, it's deer hunting. <laughs> Got into the lease, it's about 10 to 1. Dropped the four wheeler here at the barn and went ahead back and tried to get a few hours of sleep. I got pulled over in Boonville coming in here, and the last time I got pulled over going hunting, I killed a deer the next day, so I'm sure that's a good sign. Finally made it up to deer heaven. This lease is awesome um, that Tony has up here near Boonville and we're gonna get in in the morning and I think that the rut should, I mean, or pre-rut activity should start happening right away. We're getting some colder weather. It's November 4th and it's just, it's gonna kick in sometime this week and we're gonna hit it hard. great that we finally got a pretty cold morning. I think it's still in the 40s, but <clears throat> it's low 40s. We're gonna try to set late into the morning, if not all day. We packed a lunch, so hopefully we can get in here quietly and see some deer today. November morning. 
morning. It's sunny and chilly, like no wind. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's because I'm being all over the place. get out of here for a little bit while this wind is swirling around go back warm up and get back out early this afternoon I put out a mock scrape with the extreme bad bucks deer urine actually the estrus uh, a couple of days ago when Tony and I were here there are deer tracks all over this little scrape so I think they're working the area we saw two little bucks today and uh, pretty hopeful for this evening Keith and Tony think I'm crazy for using this old decoy that I found out here yesterday. I think it looks pretty good.
to you by Bear Archery. And it's our first frost this morning. Uh, I hope Scott's dressed warm because uh, it's going to be a cold one for sure. <clears throat> We're going to a new spot that hasn't been hunted in probably about a month or so, so definitely excited about hunting a new stand. And it's a stand where we just saw a deer retreating last night. And then after looking at the, the aerial, it's right on the edge of like the biggest patch of timber um, in this whole area. So I think it's just a really popular bedding area. Hopefully we'll see deer going back to bed this morning. nights in a row we had a doe come in and was just blowing at us she spotted us from really far away and 
and was just making all kinds of noise in the woods. So she immediately got a target after that first night. And the second night she came in, she blew again and just so happened to walk around through the woods and came right by the stand. I told Scott, we're gonna shoot her if she gives us a chance. And this time she came in close, even though she blew and threw a fit. And she just walked right by us at 30 yards. Last night we had four does come in. The lead doe, this one here, was obviously the biggest and we uh, decided that if that particular doe would come back in, even though we weren't targeting does, that we would go ahead and take her out. Um, and she, the whole group came in tonight, the exact same thing, and she did the exact same thing. For some reason, she kept walking towards us after she blew and then she turned around came back into the woods, gave me a 30 yard shot. Um, so this will be my last day hunting up here and hopefully it'll uh, clear things out a little bit for Tony and Keith and um, give them a chance to shoot a buck. Wow, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below, tell us what you think.